again on YouTube, Dallas Boy here, back again with another Pokemon Black and White Wi-Fi battle. In this battle, I'm going up against Spoofalonsible, who I met on the Smygon Wi-Fi Battle Finder. And, uh, funny story about this is, um, we were at one of Elo's streams and had a battle, but that battle I actually wound up disconnecting, so, um, yeah, sometime later we met on the Smygon Wi-Fi Battle Finder and, uh, had this battle. So, uh, anyways, looking at teams, he is running a Firewater Grass Core in the form of Chandelure, Milotic, and Rose Raid. And I'm running a Firewater Grass Core in the form of Rotom Keep, Empoleon, and Shaman. And uh, looking a little further at the teams, I can see that the Milotic is going to be the biggest threat to my team because it can wall up quite a bit of my stuff. And, uh,. The most threatening member on my team to his would have to be the Shaman, because it pretty much hits a lot of his guys hard, and I think all of them are for super effective damage in some way, shape, or form. So keep Shaman alive, and I should be A-OK -okay for this match. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this little battle, and let's get the show on the road! So my opponent leads up to Chandelure, and I'm going to le be leading off to my Shaman, and I feel like he actually predicted my Shaman to be leading off, because it was the biggest threat to his team. But, the Fire Blast is pretty obvious to me, and I don't want to risk this Chandelure being Scarf, so I'm going to switch to my Soul Axe to punch the hit, and pursue the um, Chandelure in the next turn, and that did about 75% for my eyes, actually. But now, um, my load is going to be coming out, and I feel like the Skull is a little obvious, and I don't want my Skull Axe burned, so I'm going to be switching into my Shaman to take the Skull, and my Shaman will actually, actually be getting the burn. It didn't really matter too much, because um, my Shaman does have the natural cure ability and whatnot, but now in comes Crobat. I predicted his switch and went for the HP Ice. I knew for a fact that this Crobat was going to be coming in, because... It's a shaman, and it's weak to flying attack and whatnot, and the whole shebang. So yeah. Now, I was kind of fearing the brave word here, so I switched into um, Polyon, but Crobat does go for the U-turn to get that offensive momentum, and yeah, I admit that I did pretty much like that play. And uh, out comes my loading, and I feel like this is the perfect opportunity to set up my stealth rock, which I do, and my loading does go for the dragon tail to me out into this hip on top right here. And uh, at the point, Hitmon Top has absolutely no business staying in on my Lodex, so I'm going to switch into Shaman to tank another Skull. And once again, I will be getting burned by the by the Skull. I do have that Natural Cure, and I do also have the Rest. So, when Rosary comes in right now, I'm going to go straight for that Rest to get up to full health. And uh, when I um, switch, switch out, the Leaf status will, will be gone. And, um... I know from a past experience that Shaman vs. Rose Raid is not a very good matchup on my end, so I'm going to be switching into Empoleon to try to take a Sludge Bomb, but he actually makes a middle of the road play and goes for the Leaf Storm. And uh, I know since I'm a specially defensive wall and whatnot, I can take as many Leaf Storms as I can from this Rose Raid unless you get some random crit. And uh, here I do go for the Ice Beam after the second um. Uh, Leaf Storm, and, uh, yeah, that's looking about a two-hit KO, which means this is, yeah, by that Leaf Storm and, um, the, how much Ice Beam did, I pretty much know that that is an offensive growth rate, but now, anyways, my Lotus came out there, and I just ro roared it away, because I didn't predict him to, um, want to switch out, so I just decided to shuffle him up a little bit. Now, Bisharp goes to the Iron Head. I try, try to get a burn with Skull. Unfortunately, that doesn't happen. And, and yeah. Now, here, I kind of knew that he wanted, wanted to switch out into Rose Raid to try to take the Skull. So, I just went for the Ice Beam. Now, Rose Raid is out of the way after the second Ice Beam I land on it. And, uh, yeah. Predictions are becoming a little bit of a theme here, I have to say. Now, I can use Chandelure. It actually is not the Rock, which surprised me after the Snorlax boost is pursued. And speaking of Snorlax, I'm going to be going into him right now to take whatever. I see a hidden power and I'm thinking, oh geez, it's fighting, but after that damage, I'm kind of thinking that it's hidden power of ice. So, Chandler is going to be going for one more hidden power, and I'm just going to go for the Earthquake, 
straight off. I could have predicted, I think I might have predicted something there, but, eh. But now, outcome played off. I feel that the rep spin is a little obvious. So I'm going to be switching into my Skullwork, Iron Man. And, uh, Plato actually goes to the Earth Power, which is actually, it's a little confusing, um, in my opinion, but, eh, what can you do? Now, Plato goes to the Ice Beam, which really can doesn't really confuse me that much, but I'm still confused why he has a set of rocks or rapid spin. Well, yeah, he obviously didn't rapid spin because, um, I'm a ghost, ghost, ghost type. So now, I'll can stay sharp on the, on the switch to take the shadow punch. I was thinking in the back of my head there that, um, he was gonna switch, so I could have gone for the unprotected focus punch there, but if I did, oh man, who, who knows what would have happened. But now, Bisharp is going to be taking me out with a Night Slash. Um, I kind of thought that he would want to um, Sword Stance up, but... Eh, what can you do? I still don't know my future features that well. Now comes Crobat to take the Predicted Ace, his Earth Power. And at this point, I pretty much know he's going to want to Roost to predict me to switch out to Napoleon to take a Spray Bird. So, I'm actually just going to be staying in and going for another Earth Power. Sniping the Crobat with another prediction and taking the Crobat out. And it's pretty much and this is sort of gonna be looking like a shaman sweep from here on out. Fire Sharp comes in, goes for the sucker punch, doesn't kill, doesn't crit, and it's gonna get removed from the field by an earth power. Now the score by two. And uh Fladol's gonna be coming out next. And I'm gonna go for a C player to hit that thing, but I miss. Little and Clayton will be going to the ice beam, but I actually live with the nine. But eh, it probably I pretty much had a shaman sweep going on, but I just had to miss the C player. And now that's gonna make this battle go on a little longer, and it's also gonna cause me to rest up here. And I'm gonna be switching into my sort of heat to try to take an ice beam, which I do. But as you can see here, then I'm actually going to be getting a free. And now I'm going to be speeding up this portion of the battle because I, yeah, I don't know why I am staying in this run on this whole time. I could have just easily double switched into Shaman, and yeah, this battle would have been over. <laughs> but I decided to be a little bit of an idiot. Probably paint flip that my Lodic. Probably. Yeah, that was my th uh, process. Pain flipped my loading. But, yeah, it. Yeah, I'm just not thawing out. And spoilers, I'm not gonna be thawing out anytime soon. And, yeah, I just let this. I just let, let a 5 out slip, slip away. And, uh, yeah. yeah. <sighs> Man, I can, I can be. I can be stupid at times, but. Eh, what can you do? And now after the Rotom Heat Paint, I'm going to be setting up my Shaman to just clean up shop. Yeah, my Lodic's not going to be taking that Sea Flare too well. And his last Pokemon is that Claydol, which should have been dead a long time ago. And I'm just going to go for the Sea Flare, take it out, and that will be the game. So, uh, yeah, apologies to my opponent for pretty much predicting the heck out of him this battle. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very sorry. But, uh, it was still a fun game, nonetheless, if it was So, uh, yeah, GG, and, uh, rate, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time!